On this week's episode of What's Up Weekly, IU has its first successful Spirit Day to celebrate the opening football game of the season. And we have a fun in-studio game that will get you in the Halloween spirit. What's Up Weekly starts now. Halloween edition of What's Up Weekly. I'm Noel Friel, aka Red Eminem. And I'm Anna Black, aka the Blue Eminem. The IU Spirits and Traditions Board made it their goal to make game day here at IU as festive as possible, even while in a national pandemic. Saturday, the Prebs Amphitheater turned into the next best thing for Memorial Stadium. Hoosiers gathered outside, socially distanced, to cheer on our favorite team in the first game of the season. With the giant screen and the Hoosiers all dressed up in their spirit wear, the watch party was a huge success. We make sure that we always had a backup plan. We wanted to make sure that we also had like safety precautions and everything involved just because of COVID and everything. We still wanted to give students that like, you know, I use spirit, like we're in this together and already when I'm here, I definitely see the community here. This may have been the first IU Spirit Day, but it certainly is not the last. It's safe to say that this festive day will become a tradition here at IU in years to come. And just like most things this year, IU Theater program is looking a little different, but that's not just because of COVID. What's Up Buku reporter Carly Rasmussen has the story. IU Theater is switching acts, shining a spotlight on their new program, Amplified. The original inception of this program, Amplified, a series of plays by black authors, was to fulfill our mission that we would begin to include a lot more diverse titles in what we're presenting to both see and also to be in. This is nice. Mr. Anzaldua and his team were able to do just that. It is a perfect day. We've been used to seeing and doing shows from a particular genre or a particular type of author. There are other voices in the world that also should be heard, can be heard, and need to be heard. That way. I mean, one of the questions that you ask yourself uh, when you're directing any play, regardless of what the subject matter is, is why this play now? And any opportunity you get to look into people or, or cultures or ethnicities beyond your immediate scope of existence, I think it's an opportunity to grow. But what does it mean to go from the stage in here to the stage in here? There's no replacement for live theater. There's no replacement for the audience to kind of feel and hear and experience a live performance. And that connection is a bit lost. You know, we, we would love to be in a live theater or in a room with each other. We had to find ways to continue to be storytellers. Oh, thank you, Elsta. Despite having the COVID changes, the theater's Jeez. influence is still crucial for society to progress. So I put this on, cut off the bottom, and left without another thought. Oh, but if you constantly only are bombarded with one type of of option. How do we embrace the diversity that is America if we don't embrace the diversity that is America in the theater? Do plays that speak to your audience, but allow your audience to expand themselves as well. Having a space that puts inclusiveness center stage is a goal for IU Theater. Have you seen my mother? For What's Up Weekly, I'm Carly Rasmussen reporting. For those interested in being a part of the cast or crew, the department can be contacted at theater.indiana.edu. Hoosier Bachelor fans might want to keep a close eye on this season as IU alum is competing for a spot in Claire Crawley's heart. Male grooming specialist Blake Monar was a star pitcher on the IU baseball team over a decade ago and has since moved to Phoenix to start his grooming product company known as Statum. We haven't seen much of Blake this season, but he might get more screen time on this week's episode as speculated by Bachelor fan take on YouTube. You can watch Blake compete for Rose every Tuesday at 7 Central on ABC. We are halfway through the semester and that could come with some added stress, making it a perfect opportunity to take advantage of IU's mental health services. IU's Counseling and Psychological Services, or CAPS, has added a number of services to help with stresses from COVID, coursework, or anything you would like to speak to a medical professional about. They offer individual, group, and couple counseling sessions. The Student Health Fee covers two free counseling sessions and a free 30-minute CAPS Now intake to connect you to appropriate services. 
Students can make appointments or find department information at healthcenter.indiana.edu. And of course, Halloween is this weekend. So we decided to get in the spooky spirit with a game. Some What's Up Weekly reporters are with us today to show off their Halloween costumes. Anna and I are going to take turns guessing what each person is dressed as, but blindfolded. Whoever isn't blindfolded has to describe the costume without saying exactly what it is. And the blindfolded host has three guesses to figure out who or what our reporter is dressed as. Should we get started? Yep, so Anna's gonna go first. Go ahead and put on your blindfold. And we are going to send in our first reporter. Right. Nervous. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I absolutely love this costume. Some of you might recognize Lexi Venetti, our Hoosier News Source sports reporter. All right, so your first hint is it's on a farm. Um, a pig. No. A horse. No. Um, a chicken. I'm going to give you another hint. Okay. Think. It makes something. Um, a goat? Nope. Um, um, you can, gonna, your third hand is you can buy this thing at a grocery store. Um, it's not a pig. It's not chicken. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> one more guess, one more guess. Uh, can I have one more guess? Yeah, this is the last one. Um, <laughs> why can't I think of it? <laughs> why? Can't? Um, uh, you said a goat, a pig, a chicken. Um, There's one you're missing. A cow. Yes. Oh. All right. <laughs> Stay blindfolded because we're gonna send in the next reporter mm -hmm. right now. Um, okay, so this, <laughs> this next one, I'm not entirely sure Okay. what this is. Think. All right, good. Politician. Um, Donald Trump. Nope. Joe Biden? Nope. Is that your second guess? All right, okay. I'm going to give you two more hints, and then you can have your third guess. <laughs> Think mustache. Um... Can I have another guess? Yes, or, or another, another hint, you mean? Uh -huh. Think professional businessman attire. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry, these are horrible. <laughs> um, and this person's a politician? I think so. You know, patriotic. <laughs> um, Will Ferrell from... <laughs> um, is it a movie character? Oh, I don't have any more hints. <laughs> okay, why don't you go ahead and tell us what you are? Is this like horrible <laughs> and uncultured? I don't know. Hello, my name is Borat. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, so I'm oh, going to go ahead no. and put my blindfold on. You can take yours off, Anna, okay. and then we're going to send in our next two reporters. <laughs> oh, oh wow. I <laughs> didn't do too hot on that. Okay. Thanks. Very nice. All right. Here we go next. Wow, I really struggled on that one. <laughs> Girl, I really struggled on it. I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so don't even worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys are wearing the same color. Okay, so something red. Yes, and it's the opposite of an angel. Devil. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, that was right. Good job. <laughs> and the second, all right, our second contestant. Okay, so this is a character from a movie, and she has a little dog. A character who has a little dog. And it's Paris an Hilton. Um, let's see. She. Clicks her heels together. Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, yay! Okay, can I take You're it awesome. off? Awesome. Good job, thank you. Can I you. take this off now? Yeah. Can I see? <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at these costumes. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, come on up. Everyone did so good, James. I'm so sorry that I'm horrible and I didn't know. <laughs> this looks amazing. I love you it. You guys did so good. Thank you guys I for absolutely. dressing up. Yes, thank you guys so much for joining <laughs> us in studio today. You guys really went all out. I'm really so did. impressed. I love the onesie. <laughs> it looks comfy. comfy. <laughs> it looks super comfy. I love oh. that. I love that. All right. All right. Thank you guys. Coming up, Drake teases his new album dropping soon, and actress Jennifer Aniston throws some shade at presidential candidate Kanye West while encouraging people to go out and vote. That and more on trending topics after the break. Stay with us. Now, I don't know anything about video games, but this next story caught my attention. This week, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez took the gaming platform Twitch in an effort to encourage young people to vote. She live streamed herself playing a game called Among Us with fellow Congresswoman Elon Omar and some other Twitch up gamers. She now has an account with over half a million followers. Her Twitch debut lasted more than three hours and garnered nearly five million views. She took the opportunity to encourage viewers to vote blue and directed them to a Democratic Party website with information on voting. And speaking of the election, this year so many celebrities have been encouraging their fans to vote and publicly endorsing candidates. And this week, Jennifer Aniston became the most recent celebrity to do so. The actress posted a picture of herself on Instagram, dropping her ballot into the collection box. Aniston said she voted early for the Democratic presidential nominee, Joe Biden, and his running mate, Kamala Harris. She advised everyone to, quote, vote for equal human rights, for love, and for decency. And she also threw some slight shade at Kanye West, writing, it's not funny to vote for Kanye. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and Kanye West isn't the only rapper whose name has been out there recently. Drake just hinted at his new album set to release early next year. That's right. On Saturday, the God's Plan singer dropped a short teaser through his record label. Drake's sixth full album will be titled Certified Lover Boy and will be released in January. This will be his first album since 2018 Scorpion, and there's no doubt that I will be listening to this album nonstop. And that's what's up this week. Tune in next week for more local and entertainment news. Be sure to follow us on social media. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at IUS TV News. For What's Up Weekly, I'm Anna Black. And I'm Noelle Friel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.